Hey everyone, my name is Paul. About uh, in 2015, 2016, I uh, shot a video of my Bougie's man cave and I wanted to give everybody an update as to how it looks now since there's been uh, a lot of additions to it. So here we go. Notice some stuff on the ceiling. It wasn't like that last time. When in doubt, go up because uh, I was running out of room on my walls. So. I have about uh, 300 heavily inscribed baseballs by uh, various Blue Jays players, and I keep on adding more. In case you're wondering why there's a CFL program on my wall, it's actually signed by Bill Davis and Paul Godfrey. Um, that's the game that they had the conversation about bringing baseball back to Toronto.
this case I didn't have the last video when I had to add it to um, in order to make sure that all of uh, my items can be uh, properly protected. Box of Monte Cristos signed by uh, Paul Beeston. I just did my inventory and I have about 12,000 uh, Blue Jays items, not including duplicates. Um, in terms of baseball cards, I have about, um, I think I'm about 40 to 50 shy of every Blue Jays card and variation of card from um, 1977 to 1993. I had to put my pennants on the ceiling too. tried to stick mostly to um, exhibition stadium years 77 to 89 but there's a lot in my collection that has to do with like historic moments from when I went to Blue Jays Fantasy Camp. On my ceiling is a uh, flag that flew at Exhibition Stadium 1986. I also put my uh, Shoppers Drug Mart calendar posters on the wall. Or, sorry, on the ceiling. So, yeah, that's pretty much, um, pretty much how it looks in uh, 2021 when I'm always looking to add more. Alright, thank you. Thanks for watching.